had so many people yesterday when I put that out, I was going to be here today going, yay, heck yeah. <laughs> and we're here. We're here today. We're here. We here. We're here. Um, this is Farmhouse Fabrics, and this is Regina, and my name is Sally. And uh, we've been running around like crazy women, <laughs> as we always do. So welcome. Welcome to our little humble party. Oh, yes. <laughs> whatever whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. Whatever this. it is. <laughs> Regina has been sewing, as she is prone to do. And man, did she bring some pretty things to show. And so then she said, well, what's new? What's new? Let's talk about, we can talk about new fabrics. I like to see what's new. I want to see and feel it and touch it. I know, because you haven't been here since this came I haven't been here since the last time. Stephanie Dabbs was here when this I got know. delivered. And, and she's and like. And I know you're watching Stephanie, and I knew what you got. Yeah. <laughs> and you knew it. You knew it, right? You knew it. <laughs> I knew you were waiting for it to come in, and I didn't know it came in. Yesterday, um, these aren't online yet, but yesterday we, we got in a shipment of, um, it's polyester organza from Japan, so the quality is mm. really, really awesome. And the one they actually have it labeled white, but it's it's a it's kind of a soft white, more mm. of a soft white. So uh, we had a customer that bought the the um, let's see if we have it here. We do actually. She's making an Easter dress out of this is a polyester oh, dupe. That'll be pretty. Polyester dupe. Oh, yeah. Oh. And it, it looks like white, but when you put it next to white, it's not quite, it's not quite as, white. Yeah. And that soft white, she's going to make a dress out of the, the gingham, polyester dupioni, and the sash out of the new um, oh, that'll be Japanese so pretty. So that's, organza. See, that's what we were talking about this one. So then, yeah, we talked about this when you were right. here before. Then the whole thing is washable. Yep. Because and it's all polyester. That's, yeah, that's you why I made it. those yeah. girls out of the polyester dupioni. Because we have, we have a lavender. The colors are beautiful. Are we having trouble? No. Oh, oh, we you're, you're blocking. We're, our phone is okay. We're going to be sliding over a little bit. Hope you took your dram of me. <laughs> there we go. That's that not looks too good. bad. That yeah, there good. you are. We can get in the center. Is that better? It is better. Right. I can't see the, the phone was blocking. Looks pretty so good. If you now. want gingham, these are definitely Easter colors. These are so they pretty. Are. This blue is pretty. The the lavender is pretty. Lilac or whatever. And it's so nice. And it's yeah. washable and it's oh. You so, I did love you, it. you sewed it right? I did the other the solid colors. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. I didn't use the. Oh plant. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. But these are nice. And then the the polyester organzas we got it in a well the one they call white is kind of a soft white. It feels so good. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. 60 inches. Mm. And then there, there's going to be like maybe two other shades of uh, going into mm -hmm. the ivory ecru the, shades. Mm. They're pretty. That'll They're pretty. Be nice. Yeah, yeah. That's new. And um, so that's fun. So I told Regina today, it's like, you know, today is one of those days that things didn't really go according to the way you might have had in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I came in and I couldn't find Sally anywhere. I was like, okay, where did she uh, <laughs> Well, I don't know she about you, hiding. but I like to go barefoot. Now in the winter, I wear socks. <laughs> and this is sort of winter, so she yeah. had socks on, which was good. But that's a good way to find that you have a leak somewhere. <laughs> that's right, especially if you have carpet, because <laughs> otherwise you won't like, know it. <laughs> I think this floor is wet. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sure enough, our... Um, we we ran the air conditioner yesterday, and can you believe it? It's it's I March, know. and we ran the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. I, I was sewing upstairs yesterday. Did at you home run and yours? I, and too? I did too. I was absolutely burning up, and yeah. it was like, oh my goodness, I have to have the air on up here. Know. You know, it, it was it got really. My husband stuffy. had the heat on downstairs. I had the air on upstairs. Oh, <laughs> Regina, that's funny. Does he get mad at you when you do that? No. Oh, good. No, because I was like. You'll either freeze or I'm going to suffocate and die up here. So yeah. <laughs> I cook. You don't. Oh. <laughs> so cool me. Well, it's it's real scary when when we have a when we if we have a leak. It didn't come from the ceiling. It came from the floor. Yeah. And um, so I've called the air conditioner guy, and I yeah. think we have to have a, a drain cleaned out. But that meant we had to move, like Christy and I were moving. <laughs> you know, you we have imagine. shelves, floor to ceiling, and they each have a bin, you know, like three bins across and six shelves, and then across the way, way top. And there's not a lot of working room in there. No, there isn't. 
there was a 60 inch roll of um, rouge cotton velveteen at the way top. That weighs and, a ton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had to we had to oh. get that get that down and move that shelving I'm unit. Sally balance on a, a step stool <laughs> with this big roll of cotton. You know, it's like you're lucky she's here today. <laughs> it, it's kind of funny because um, I've always been pretty strong, and uh, and so but I don't consider myself old. You know, you know how you just no, keep you doing just, just keep doing your stuff. Yeah. And then I think, you know, I must look really old to people because if they I go, want to help you. <laughs> yeah, they want to help me. If I go to um, like Sam's and get computer paper, you know, all these people are like, can I help you with that? And I'm like, I got this, I got this, you know, I got this. But well, I you was, gotta, you got to start picking where you get the help. You know, I know. But now it's when like, my husband came in and I was buried up to here with oh, yeah. all this stuff, Didn't he's like, him, huh? hey, hey, those pictures that you, somebody sent on your phone, can you can you send those over? I'm like. Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway. She can so, still do it all. So that happened today. And then the other thing that happened, and this is, um, this is so frustrating. The first thing I read was we had a note that somebody had um, fraudulently charged $600, $600 worth of goods. And um, I guess they stole a credit card number, but why are you going to buy fabric with a with <laughs> a stolen credit card? <laughs> when actually they bought batting. Why are yeah. you going to buy batting uh, if you're going to steal something? When the Italians did that to us, they stole like six thousand dollars worth of really really nice <laughs> shirtings, cotton shirtings. I you, mean, if you're going to get something, get something get good. Get something good. Yeah, it's like batting. Okay. If I was going to be using that credit card, I would. If somebody else's, I would be doing it at the jewelry shop or somewhere else. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it for her fabric. But you know, you, you I, I I did have to stop and think. Okay, I've got something to be thankful for in that, and that is um, FedEx was supposed to pick up that great big box the day before, and they left it on our porch, and I'm like all ticked off. <laughs> and now it turns out it's a blessing because right. they took it yesterday, and it was still in Augusta, and we were able to get it back. Get it back, and so. You know, the we, people didn't get their batting, and they no didn't and, make six hundred yeah, spent six hundred dollars. So we might be having a sale on batting <laughs> <laughs> because we have a lot of baby crib sized battings. It's warm and natural. You like warm and natural? They obviously liked it. They yeah. they ordered forty battings, forty. And uh, I mean, I just I don't guess, get what people are doing these days. I know. You know. I know. Anyway. So that was Sally's morning, and uh, hopefully yeah. the rest of the weekend will go much better. So I'm so happy Regina is here. <laughs> oh, I love you, Regina. Man. We have to uh, hang on. Yeah. So we got to okay. show this off, right? No, we have to show this fabric first because she was talking about this dotted Swiss. That it is gorgeous. Look at this stuff. I mean, Isn't it's it just pretty? lush. I mean, I just, oh. And she said it had a sheen to it. And when I pulled it, I didn't, I was thinking a sheen. And then I looked at it and it's like, oh my goodness, it does. It's because it is crosswoven with lavender threads in the horizontal, selvage to selvage, mm -hmm. and white threads vertically. And it has some. This doesn't call Easter. I don't bounce. know what it does. It has some bounce to it, doesn't it? These I could love be. It make the most beautiful little bridesmaid or flower girl dresses. Oh, Wouldn't that, that would be gorgeous? Really oh pretty. Goodness. Yes. And so then we pulled out some white organdy. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a white organdy collar or sash to go with it, and then this is just imperial broadcloth. Look at that. And that brightens it up let's see Here's yeah a... we'll go to the overhead with facebook and youtube and you can see how beautiful that, it is. how beautiful that is over this is over this so that's way more purpley but, it is, but it looks when really you put nice it over there over it, it just makes it bright mm -hmm. and then you can imagine a sash or a, a collar, sash and a out, collar of, out of the white as yeah. well would be you gorgeous is excited about the lavender Oh, and it is Me beautiful. You too. really need some. Me too. I I'm love telling it too. you. I'm gonna get this and back it up just a little bit here. Let's see. Go it a little is so bit pretty, this and it way. just it's so bouncy and fluffy. It's, it is. I mean, you could still use, you know, the slip with the ruffle or oh, the yeah. with the um, 
horsehair braid on right. a circle slip mm -hmm. or something like that and, and hold it out. But but isn't that pretty? going to make the first dress. Can't wait to Ooh. see it. You going to take any of that home <laughs> with you? Got to see. You going to take any home with you, Regina? Got to see what we got to make That's here. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. But I'm excited about this because I've never had this color before. And when I found out I could get it, it was like, send it to me. And, I, and we're watching the mail every day until <laughs> I kept getting, I mean, we've been, we've been getting in a lot of um, heirloom fabrics. I knew it was going to be here when I came. Because Gail, Gail's class on the yeah. bishops. Mm -hmm. And, oh, like this would be wonderful for the bishops. And this is a woven dot. So you could pick that out if you wanted to. This also for the bishop, if, if we did the. See this one, you could do it like this. That's where it, gorgeous. It yes. has the white inset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you did the white inset and then you did lavender stitching, um, smocking, mm -hmm. this Galedone.com, oh. a trio of refined bishops, yes. is her current class that is really, really wonderful. So I'll come back to this in a little while. But Ann says, Regina, this girl needs some okay. material. You got to get it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's pretty. It's we'll pretty. all be making dresses in out of this. This is so pretty. See what we can come up with. I know. I love it. All right. So then you have, you have that, not only that color, that aqua, but this one. I just absolutely love it too. And we have a kit out of that also. A different kit, right? Aqua dotted Swiss kit. Yeah, just pull the, the whole shebang out. I'm gonna let me flip this over just a bit. We're working on layers today. <laughs> we have layers. We, we have a, a reason and a mission here, so yeah. <laughs> hang in. But this is beautiful. What, what color did you use, Michelle, for a, a slip on out of this? I think it was oh. five, six. It was a uh, imperial broadcloth, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This this yeah. is gorgeous too. I mean, yeah. I this just is... don't know. I just oh, I want it both. I know. This I, is, I love them. This is They're like so gorgeous. Um, I don't know. This sherbet or something. Yeah. Like that. It's like this dreamy. Is, so this is a tone on tone where the 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 dots are the same color as the fabric, and more. It's a little more sheer of a background yeah, than the lavender. It's a Batiste. It's a Batiste. It was 460, but it's a little bit darker. So okay, it, so it brings it out the color. Up, yeah. So number 460, Imperial Batiste. This is beautiful too. Looks beautiful with this Ooh. as a slip. Yeah, this oh. is this is sweet. What? This is just. So this again is the the woven oh. dot, as opposed to the embroidered dot on a. That you can't get out. Yeah, you can't get. <laughs> They're there. Yeah, in fact, that little blue piece right over there is the is the embroidered dot. Well, you would think we'd take better care of our expensive fabric, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would think so. It's like, I'm so... Yeah, you know, like, like this one is this one is into the fabric. Yeah. On, you can see both sides. It's woven, and so you cannot pull that out. No, embroidered. I mean, I mean embroidered, so it's... Yeah, like satin stitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope, you can't pull that one out. This but you there. can pull this one out and um, if, you, if you want to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Or... You could put a white inset for a bishop mm -hmm. and smock that, and you wouldn't have to pull all the dots right. up. You could do it. You could do it either way. Yeah, but it, it's but pretty. But it's just beautiful. It's, you would love it. It's a beauty. Some favorites. Like yeah. And okay. then we have. We'll show what are you talking about this? <laughs> this is our mini iron. I, I, I saw where Fred said he might. Uh, Denise might let him use hers. Yeah, outside. <laughs> outside. I, I call I it an iron, do an iron on a stick. It, Fred, but, uh, it's, but isn't it cute? I mean, I got it because it was cute. <laughs> I got and one too because it's cute. <laughs> it's clover, and I like I like notions by clover. And it, it could, if you're sewing for dolls, it's tiny mm -hmm. for little doll things. But they said I it's really good for a out. quilter. <laughs> it's good for quilters to get those yeah, little... Yeah, they sit there and they just do, do it right the by their desk. You know, right where they're sewing. has a stand included. And... Um, I know. I mean, it's not a new. It's not a new item, but it's new for us. So, um, I really shouldn't be allowed in the in the Notion catalog Notion. because usually Christy does does that. I was going like, to say Sally hey, Bear catalog. Pretty cute. That's pretty cute. 
I know Emma told me she changed the um, Amazon uh, password today. I'm like, you better give me that before the weekend. <laughs> that means it's changed on my computer. And she said, I'll fix that for you, Sally. Yeah, I told her she Don't better go. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, she might like, need to be on my there. My poor husband, though, he's he's going to be like, how come I can't get on Amazon anymore? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's when it tells. Say, I don't know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Anyway, this is a nifty little thing. A tiny little, um, what shape is that? Looks like a trowel. A triangle. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, triangle. It's iron on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a curling so Fred, iron. when you figure out what you're going to do outside with this, I'd like to know. Yeah, yeah. What is he going to do outside with this? That's a good First question. First off, it has to be plugged in. Okay, so, yeah. All right, Regina. All right. What do we need to talk about what I brought here? Okay. <coughs> Where do we start? All right, we'll start with, uh, how about <coughs> this dress? We'll take this one. I was talking about the linen. <coughs> A couple of weeks ago and all the beautiful colors of linen and so this one I wanted to do something different so I did uh, I used I'm gonna go get that okay water. I used Evie Hawkins <coughs> she has she's from a bit of stitch and I used her designs and just this is this dress pattern is Louise from Children's Corner and so I just made it up when I was going along kind of put an overlay on it so you can see it's got linen under it but then I used, I just did the same border on a different piece and cut out the the bodice. So, but the hem is, I mean, it's really pretty. And you can do this on anything. How'd you, how'd you do this? You sewed that, you sewed that, the... I did an overlay. I love that. I did, I just embroidered another piece using the same right. hem mm -hmm. on the top and then just laid the bodice on it and centered it and put it on the top. And then this is one of her designs. This one, the this is from her, uh, the scallop oh, stitch. Oh, I love that! Look how cute that is. It's um, so Evie. Evie's been here, and we love her. This is the hem. She's so talented. She put this in the classic sewing magazine. Oh, that is so and cute. And so it was, you know, really neat and fun to do. All right, I'll get a clean it. So. And so I, I used that one for the hem. And then for the starfish up here, I used uh, the Sea Breezy package of designs that she had. And this is what it looks like. Oh, this is, that's pretty. And I can show you here Okay. what's in this package. I'm going to do this to go to the overhead, and you can see. Okay. You can see, oh, that is so cute. She has all these designs, and... And they're in applique, and they just, or they just stitch out, or else they're in cut work. So you can do all different things with these, and they're really, really pretty. Are all of these in, in, in sea, sea breezy? breezy? Sea breezy. I yeah. love that. And she has really good directions. And you know, you if you want a little something to put on a hand towel for a guest or something to take as a gift to somebody, it, it, they're really pretty. Or really if good. you. Have a house at the beach. You might a house want. at the yeah, beach. Denise has already chimed in. She says, "I love the starfish and the Eddington. Is that what that's called? Mm -hmm. Eddington, the bodice and hem. No, that's oh. called the the scallop cut work border. Okay. This one. What's the name of this pattern? Awesome, this beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're loving that, Regina. Oh, this is you. pretty. It's just, it was, and I thought when I saw that fabric, I was like, okay, I know what this needs to be beach, beachy looking, you know, so those were my first thoughts of the designs for it, and <coughs> had to do something. I love that. So if you have uh, any of Evie's, or if you don't have Evie's designs, go check them out, because they, you can, they're versatile, you can use them on all kinds of things. Now, Regina, you did something. Mm -hmm. You made this with only one seam. Mm -hmm. I used the width of the fabric instead of cutting two skirts. That's so cool because you didn't have to line up your... your. Nope, I just did it all the way across the bottom wow. of the fabric and then sewed up a side seam and I put the pl uh, placket in the back. I don't like putting a placket in a seam in the back. Right. And so I just made my placket and then had a little side now, seam. People get so nervous about plackets, but don't you think they're pretty easy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're definitely easy to yeah. me. I mean, I think they just try it. If you try it, and, and I think I have a video on that. If you go to Come Sew With Me or just to my name on YouTube and mm -hmm. find a placket, because it's, it's 
dead easy. Really simple to do. They want to know what fabric that is. This is the, the linen, that, the aqua linen. And this is a, like a, a chambray linen where mm -hmm. it's uh, woven white in one direction and, and aqua in the other. And so this is kind of cool because the front actually has three layers of fabric. It does. Mm -hmm. There's a lining, which is probably broadcloth, right? It is. And then, um, but the actual bodice is it's like linen. if you, it's linen. Mm -hmm. And then the linen overlay. So if it comes up, it, you just see the linen. Right. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Ooh, I love that. You know, it almost looks like piping, Regina. Mm -hmm. It's like, how'd you get that piping so perfect? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but it was, it's, it's really fun. They're fun. Okay. These designs are fun to work with. So. so, so now, because I don't do machine embroidery, right. I'm so impressed with how how smooth the finish is tell me yeah can you tell me the process or okay. is that you hoop one st uh, one sheet of uh, or one piece of wash away i use sulky wash away st sticky stabilizer and i know a lot of people doesn't like sticky stabilizer but i do and you know if you just clean your needle with a uh, alcohol gauze little thing you know mm -hmm. i did it between mm -hmm. each one there i think there were seven hoopings on this and so in between each one i just clean the needle and then it's on one piece of wash away and then you trim it you know it'll it'll put down your first stitch and then you will go trim your fabric off that and it goes back and does a satin stitch oh. on the wash away and then when you wash that off then your satin stitch is there because it's so perfect looking mm -hmm. so do they not like the sticky stabilizer because it gums, it gums up the up needle, the needle. Mm -hmm. but if you just clean but it you just once clean in a while it, then, yeah, it, then it it's no do, problem I don't right have any problem with it no yeah and i love it I mean, some things I'll use just the wash away and spray it a little lightly. Uh, it, you know, if it's a light fabric, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. But on a heavier fabric, I want it to stick. Right. And I don't want it to move, you know, and I want it to be so it comes out right. So I use sticky. Okay. So use wash away and spray it lightly with what? With uh, like, adhesive, like yeah, an adhesive. Uh, KK2000 oh, okay, or 501 okay, okay. or whatever that stuff is. Yeah. You can tell, I mean, I'm, I'm stupid when it comes yeah, to. Yeah, I, I just leave so. it out because I know what I use and I don't yeah, think about telling yeah. you, but that's what I use. But it looks, it's perfect. I mean, it's just really, I'm going to go to the overhead and show them how pretty the um, the edges look. Mm -hmm. We'll turn it around this way. But they're smooth. There aren't any little, any little fuzzies coming No, and off. that's what I like so much about. Right. I'll tell you two things today about this. Because this is, Evie does hers this way, and so does Joy Welch with the applique for kids. Mm -hmm. They both do it so that you can trim it and then do the finishing stitch. And the other things I'm going to show you, it's not done that way. And you can tell the difference. You can tell the difference. Yeah. And I really would wish, and I'll tell you when I show you these other things mm -hmm. in a few minutes, mm -hmm. who makes these. And, and I wish that she would do it the same way because, because it her makes stuff it is easy. gorgeous too. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And, but yeah. I wish she did the same technique because it works much better Man. to me. I love that. And I think it, it, I'm not a digitizer, but I think doing it, it's just like maybe one step extra mm -hmm. to do it so that mm -hmm. you could cut it and then go back and stitch. So it does a straight stitch outline, right? A straight stitch mm -hmm. and then you trim mm -hmm. it. And, and then you then, trim it. Mm -hmm. And then it goes and does a little zigzag and then it goes back and does a satin stitch. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's held down really, you know, it's done really good. So you do all three of those steps before you move your hoop to the next hooping. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Is it hard to line it up to to start your next? That can be a little next, tricky sometimes, yeah. but it, it you can pretty mm -hmm. much get it done. You know. One day I might use my because I'm impressed. She with is this. not going to use it, so <laughs> don't even think about it. <laughs> she just got through saying a minute ago she didn't have time for a baby blanket. She's not going to do this. I I wanted to. I went to a baby shower last Saturday, and I so was just going to make. <laughs> You know that little fabric from um, Spain with the little bunny rabbits? Yes. And just back of the, either the soft yellow Swiss fleece or the soft yellow um, uh, really nice flannel. And didn't get that done No, either. I mean, I was just going to make a square and turn it right side out. It's like, I can do this. I can do this. I did not have time. Why do I not have time? I don't know why I don't have time. Because she's busy. Oh, man. It's crazy. She goes from every direction from about 4.30 <laughs> in the morning until whatever time at night she killed off. <laughs> well, you do the same thing, but you, you get all this other stuff done. Man. Well, I yeah, love this, so Regina. That's, uh, What's next? What's okay, next, the next on the one, agenda? Since we're talking about the linen stuff, we'll do this one. That's pretty. Mary's asking a question about a, oh, okay. a serger question. Could you do a rolled hem on a serger? Yes. 
F. A three thread rolled him. I can't because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> your book, your booklet with your surgery will tell you how to set it up and you can do it. Or yeah. go to Google and Google ask. it and watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but and you can definitely YouTube. Judy asked, "Do you have to use spray block on the edges of what this?" I guess the head. no, uh, no, you do not. Mm -hmm. There's no no fray block on this because it doesn't. It's not going to fray. Because you'll you know where the seam when I put it in the seam, it's not going to come yeah. out of there. So, wow, if you don't use it on that. This is so well, perfect I'll tell you about looking. It. I'll, okay. I'll add that into the next okay. thing that I'm going to show you. All right. But this one, before we get to the next this thing, I'll show cute, you this one. This is you guys. This is Abilene by Little Lizard King. Oh, the my pattern. goodness. Let's, let's do this. Look at this. It is so pretty. That's, that's beautiful. And the edgings that I used on this, I brought up here, too. Oh, the edgings because are Because the edgings sweet. are gorgeous. I knew I wanted to do something Did different you get these? Did you get these numbers already? And so I used it for the flutter sleeves and for the ruffle at the bottom. Look at the little pink bows on here. The little, and, oh. and they match the pink just perfect. Yeah, and it's, that's pretty. Here's the back of it. I added a little bow back there. Girl. Just for a little decoration. I love that. Is this lined? Mm -hmm. It's fully lined. Oh, fully? Okay, okay. Yeah, we can flip it open and over wow. and show you. Wow. That's pretty. The so lining, I just cut the two out and sewed them match. together. And it was so easy then to put the ruffle on and, and serge oh, it on. Oh, okay. I, I got it. So it's not yeah. in between the layers. Mm -hmm. It's just serge. Oh, on. how awesome is that? I bet this was fast. Yeah, it was fast. Yeah. Did you have to Didn't do anything any... special to, to sew around the neck and then did you have to pull it through? You didn't have to pull it through the mm -hmm. armhole or anything like no. that? Fred nope. said, I want all my friendships to be like Sally and Regina's friendship. <laughs> oh, Fred. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, That's... Rosanna asked, how much ruffle did you, you need? For this? About, about 400 yards. <laughs> it was about six and a half. Because this it's a is... It's a complete circle skirt. So what is a complete circle? Because... You've been having to do okay. Let's like let's just measure. Oh, is that it? I think. How do we know? How do you remember that from? Okay. Uh, it's three hundred sixty degrees. Here's, here's thirty six. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. here we go. <laughs> I'm not very good at math. Okay. So I'm like, oh, I'm not either, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> but you don't we have to. You don't have because... to double gather. I mean, when it's so full, you could just do one and a half times. Yeah. Well, let's see the overhead of the lace. All right. It, um, so let's go to the overhead and show the lace. We'll show it here yeah. and look at how pretty. I'm not sure I can continue to get this. Is this pink sticker? I don't know. Maybe maybe not. I hope we can get, keep Girl, getting it. Girl, she can't. You better get it while you can because <laughs> it's, it's this really stuff is, pretty. This is pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. I'll go a little bit closer. We're talking about how much it, uh, like the time before when I was here, we were talking about that uh, dress in the magazine, remember? And you said, did it really take as many yards of lace? Well, it was the Cheryl and, Clapp dress. Yeah. And, I, and then when I got home, I said, gosh, that just sounds like a lot. And then when I got home and did this, I hadn't, I didn't buy enough of this. I didn't get enough of it when oh. I was here. So that's why I had to come back and, and get some more to, to finish doing it. Well. Because the, it was the nowhere near are enough. So nice. I really thought. I mean, these these bows are so light that mm -hmm. you'd almost don't notice the pink until you put it on pink. Right. Yeah. And then it shows up beautifully. It's really really pretty. Oh, and it's cute as a little flutter sleeve. Did yep. you use the same width? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there is one that's wider. Right. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. So this oh. was Abilene by Little Lizard King and. I'm sure my little four-year-old is going to love this. You know what? She, she is. likes to twirl she, and She is going to love that. She's going to love it. It's oh. a good twirling dress. Yeah, it is. Whoop. Couldn't get it back on there. What's that lace number again? 32-80002. And we have that in blue and white as well. Yeah. This little one's just a little slip dress. Oh. Sweet. But I did add a leftover piece I'm of blue linen here. Did, did you have, oh, 
You have a hanger for that? That's your. That's the hanger. You I had another. I know, but I had one over there somewhere. Anyway, we'll get it. But this little dress is, and the hoop as well. It is Evie Hawkins in the hoop. And it's just the cutest thing. The back is made in the hoop. Man, I love that. And it's just so sweet. Let me see that back. Look That's, at this. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cute? Yes. Okay. Put you on the overhead. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Flip, Look at flip this. it around the other way for the overhead. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. Look at that. How sweet is that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. See, it's finished on both sides. Yes. And her directions oh. are so good that you know exactly how to do Man, it. Man, that I mean, was just follow great. her directions. And it's just the cutest thing. And I could just see this on a little baby in the summertime. It's when it's hot, that could be cool. And so then I thought, well, this little baby, whoever it's going to, needed a bonnet. <laughs> so oh. this is Jeannie Bowmeister's. I've shown you this before. I did it in white, but okay, I'm I had to do it again. Are you, to match shown, this you, one. you got it in the overhead. And okay. then I'll. Then I'll and well, I'll show you something that. how cute this is. I mean, this is so neat because... Okay, you can scoot up a little bit farther this way. There you go. Oh, look at it. It's flat. Look, you can do this all flat. Wow. And so it's... it's the easy directions to, are in... Work, uh, I think right? it was spring or summer of classic sewing this last year. 23. Man. And so then... And you're just you working just with sew a it. rectangle. Yeah, you're working with a rectangle. And then you, when you put your ribbon in, you sew it here so yeah. that it, you don't lose it. Yeah. You know. And then you just pull it up. Oh my and goodness! And tie it, and then you've got your little bonnet again. That's sweet. And the, who's little? Um, is that? Oh, that you did that by hand, yeah. Regina. <laughs> I'm practicing my hand embroidery. Oh my god! Yeah, she's getting ready to go to England, right? Yeah, in the summer, and so I am really doing oh, look lots at of you. stitching you at did night. Some hand work. I'm still working on those cast on <laughs> stitches, though. Oh. I love the look of them, though. Oh, they're so beautiful. Aren't they pretty? I'm working on those, and every night I'm sitting on the sofa doing it, and I have a big Man. hoop that I just keep practicing over and over. I cut that one off because it didn't look right, and I do it again. And my husband came through, and he's like, are you still working on that same thing? <laughs> I said, yes, and don't ask. It might be a long time before that's done. So I, I love this, Regina. So this this seam, this it, raw edge is flipped back, and it's hidden underneath the the lace insertion. It's a, a really pretty technique that yeah, she does. Yeah, that looks great. It's from summer 2023. It's yeah. Philly's Lacy Heirloom Bonnet. Okay. You wow. made Banks one. I did. Uh -huh. yeah. oh. I, and I just thought that is so pretty. So okay. I had to do another one. So did, what what needle did you use to do this? A 120 uh, or a 110 jeans needle. It was a jeans yeah. needle. Mm -hmm. Okay. The jeans needle to do that little tiny stitch because sometimes if you use a wing needle, a wing needle will cut it'll it. cut your lace. I'll show you that on another one. It too. does okay. Yeah. It does fine on the well, linen. Yeah. Like if you're doing right. a hem stitch, you just on linen. But if you go through the lace, it'll cut it. It'll cut it, won't mm -hmm. it? But the jeans needle won't, won't yeah. do that. And it still so gives it's either you that when I use a 110 or a 120. It depends on some machines won't take a 120. I have a traveling machine that won't. Oh, because I guess it's, it's too fat. Like it's too fat to go in the ah. holder. So you have to use a 110. Well, that's pretty. Ah, look at you doing just, your handwork. Yeah, just have to get my handwork done. <laughs> Way to go, Regina. Way to go. And I have a big bag of flosh up front. And Sally's like, are we going to show this? I said, no, because I don't have anything made yet. Because <laughs> I'm working wow. on another project with that. <laughs> What's the name of the starfish one? Was it Sea Breezy? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the scallop one of cobweb. Just the scallop cut work borders. This was the sea breeze. Okay. You gonna awesome. love a bit a bit of stitch. And definitely, definitely sign up for her newsletter. Oh, yeah. Her newsletter, when you read it, it's just like talking to her. Mm -hmm. It's just so homey and down to earth and fun right. and sweet and she she loves her grandkids and sometimes <laughs> they're in there, you know, and it's fun. I I, I love her newsletters. Yeah. They're, they're I just great. love doing hers. I'm going to probably practice. I was thinking that kind of looks plain down there, so I think I probably need to do the feather stitch around the bottom of that, too, to practice. Oh, Won't that's that a cute, cute so idea. If I put the feather stitch around the bottom with yes. some Yes, out of, like, ecru. Yeah. Yeah, that would be, be nice. real pretty. Yeah. So that or was would just you another... try and do this? Well, I might try to make it match that yeah. so it just has more color yeah. on it, yeah. too, you know. Man. In well, the, the ecru is so pretty on there, though. That's, some that's will maybe wear this and... Wow. Hopefully, you know. Next time I go to a baby shower, I'm going to call Regina. <laughs> <laughs> call Regina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You know what I did? I went to Belkin and bought, bought a gift. Just tell me a Isn't day that before. terrible? <laughs> Is that terrible? It's yeah. like... They had some really cute things there. And uh, that girl didn't know I sewed, so it's like, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. She didn't say, okay, why lot... didn't you sew something for me? Yeah. Well, she probably didn't know what no. you did or didn't mm -hmm. do. No. This past week, I think it was the past week that this is time cute. goes so fast, I'm telling you, that I can't keep up with it. But Kathy Harrison from Custom Keepsakes released a new package of designs. She, she released a girl one and a boy one, or you could buy them as a combo and get a discount. And of course, I jumped right on it because I have her other. Did you buy the combo? Things. I bought the combo. Of course. Uh, of course, I, I would did. always do that too. I mean, why would I buy one? I, would, yeah. I had to buy two. So, and plus, her stuff is beautiful. And when I made the first one, I'm telling you, I was absolutely. I, I love everything she does, and so yeah. I've, I've made a lot of her stuff. And this one, it. When I brought them in today, the girls were out front. I'm showing them, and they're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I said I did that the entire time I was doing this. Oh. I mean, two days. I worked some on one day and some on the next day, and I'm telling you, I just was so excited over it because they're so beautiful. They are beautiful. They're so delicate. Look at this little diaper shirt. I mean, it is just precious. This is one of the little girl pack. I think there's 11 in each package. Oh, you're kidding plus me. Plus extra designs to put on something else that wow. you want to put them on. But this one, they just came out so pretty. And so, of course, I'm going to do all of them at some point. Absolutely. Because these, I mean, you look want at it closer? that. Now, you needed this for your baby shower. You needed this boy one. Yeah, that, right. Because but these, I love the flowers. They look when real. When you look at the designs, I mean, Aww. they're so well done, you know, that it's just like incredible. Well, what'd you do this on? Well, you tell me. Is that voil? I think so. Did you I have a piece sure. and you weren't sure what it was? I did. <laughs> it was a kit I had taken apart. I think and it's I had it in a white stack of fabric and I pulled it out. I said, this is either, it, it, I think it's lighter than uh, Nalona. Yeah, it's, it's, so it has I'm, to be I'm pretty sure it's voile. Yeah. That's what, that's oh, what I thought it was too, because I know it's my favorite stuff to sew on. And yeah, so I was just like, oh my God, that's pretty. I have that's to make pretty. these out of this. So yeah. it it's just came out beautiful. <clears throat> and this is why I said I'd tell you the difference between the cutting them out, because this one, it sews it all out at one time, so you can't cut it out ahead of time. You have to wait until it's over, and then you cut fabric and stabilizer. Oh. And so you have to be very careful and use the little pointy curved scissors to cut it out with. Well, I don't have the curved ones here, but I've got and some And if you pointy, snip it, then you just ones. put a drop, one drop of uh, fray check, fray fray check on it. Yeah, or fray block, and, and it will keep it from raveling out. But that's where I would really like... For Kathy to, to do these so that you could trim them first and then go back and they would stitch out. Yeah. You know. They're not curved, but they're very pointy. Yeah. And they they would they work really nice. Our little our little But this scissors. sews out. She puts the buttons. The buttonholes are sewn on. Is that on over there? Yeah. Yeah. The buttonholes are put in and on the side where the button goes, she puts one little like a little dot, like on dotted Swiss. So that you know where to sew the button on. Oh, oh, okay. So it's, I mean, it makes them really cute. So all you have yeah. to do, once they're done, they're right side, left side, or left side, right side, and then the back. And then you put them together. It takes like nine minutes to sew out each thing. Mm -hmm. And then you put them together. I did them with French seams at the uh, sides. sides and the shoulders. And sew on little buttons and you have your little diaper shirt. That's I'll just, cute. I had to keep doing because I had an extra leftover piece of linen. So I did this one yesterday. I thought, I'm not going without I take this one. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> oh, this my one has goodness. a collar on it, and the I collar is part collar. of it. When it sews it, the collar is sewn out flat, and she puts a line where it's supposed to be folded over. Oh. She stitches it, and then you just turn it back and oh, my goodness. put it in the shoulder seam. It's like a little shawl collar, and it, it um, connects at the shoulder. It, it doesn't go all the way around the back. Let, mm -mm. Me, let me. No. They were asking what fabric you use for the shirt. I think they were talking about the white one. The white one? That's Swiss Voile. Look at that. I could sew with that all day long. I absolutely love it. Oh, that's so sweet. And then this one's the pink, same pink linen that the dress was made from. I had enough left to, to do this. It doesn't this. take much, it, does it? No. It's about, you need about but look at 14 this. inches. Little tiny. This Grace was done with the wing. Rock, hmm? Gina. 
Grace says you rock. Oh, thank you, Grace. <laughs> this is done with a wing needle on the embroidery machine. And it does oh, this you just put that on the embroidery. You put a wing needle on the embroidery machine? Mm hmm Well, that's pretty cool. It is really cool because I was like, oh, man, this thing. Do not get your fingers anywhere near it. <laughs> Sit there with yeah, your arms like behind yeah. you while it's sewing because if that went through your finger, it would not be fun. A small needle is not How do fun. you know that? <laughs> a small needle How do you is know that, fun. Regina? The small one is not fun either. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, this is the little girls. And like I said, there's about nine more of these that Aww. are all, the designs are all different. They're so pretty. That's sweet. And I just sweet. love it. Denise said, I want one of those diaper shirts made as an adult blouse with all that beautiful embroidery. You Wouldn't it be beautiful? That would be pretty. Oh, my goodness. That would be pretty. It would be. Do you want it in linen or do you want it in see-through? <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. You're asking Denise, not Fred. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, ask Fred what he wants, right? <laughs> I think uh, you might want the linen one. Okay. And here's, here's the little boy one. One of the little boys oh. with a little fish. It's just so cute. Let me do it this way from over yeah. here, right? Oh, and look at that pocket. And it has a little pocket. Oh, my goodness. And this little pocket sews up at the top edge on the same hooping as your side. And then you just go up there and cut it out. And it, she tells you exactly how to turn it and everything. And then you just sew it right on the front. And she puts a little I line love. where you put it on there to sew it. So it's the just pocket. A, the pocket is. It looks like a little goldfish bowl. It does. Look at that. It's so is sweet. that two layers or one? That's two layers. The no. pocket is two layers. Mm -hmm. No, one layer? Just one layer. Oh my goodness. Or it's a peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love Susan this. Susan says, how does a Swiss boil launder? Beautiful. Yeah. It doesn't was, wrinkle much This either. was washed. I mean, all, these pieces were washed and then I had to iron, you know, you just press them back out and because I had to wash the stabilizer. The whole thing was covered in stabilizer. And so I cut away as much as I could, and then uh, very hot water. I just hold it one end up and, the, and just start putting the really hot water on it, and you can see it all just running down until it's oh, all really? off. Yeah. And then I put it in a, a like a dish pan mm -hmm. and put the hot water in there, and I left it all afternoon yesterday. And then I went for this one, and then I went back and rinsed it out real good again and then pressed it. Hey, and what, I've done the same thing for that. What these, Regina? Three, like, zero to three months, I think, or three, three to six months. And then there's a six to nine month one. There's two sizes. These with a little diaper cover would be just... The little collar. I know. I love the collar. So yeah, the I got that birdie pattern today because the, I think oh, yeah, those yeah, little yeah. diaper covers Fits will be right perfect. right in here. <coughs> I just joined in. Where did I find these projects? Oh, well, you're going to tell her where, okay, where you, you can find Okay, you go to Custom them. Keepsakes and by Kathy Harrison. And that's where you'll find these designs, and they're so all in the hoop, me. except for the finishing. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got a tickle. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And I know you don't is... want to drink out of my water, my water bottle. <laughs> then this is the little boy one with the, the collar on it. This one has little seahorses. I mean, there's... It, oh, it's he's just got a... a oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, he's so sweet. Oh, man. It made me want to rent a baby. Rent a baby. I don't want one, but I'd rent one. <laughs> if somebody had one, I would rent it. <laughs> you pick the time of the day. Pick the nap time. I want the nap time so I can rent just a baby sit and hold it and rock it. Yeah, I'd put yeah. it in this little thing before I held it, and I would just sit there and rock it the entire time because that's my favorite part of a baby. I, I do like that part, too. And just sit and rock, and mine got rocked almost as long as they were born little. I mean, they were, they were little. I love to rock, so. That's one thing. We did rocking. I, when I went to that baby shower last week, we had... We had moms, grandmas, great grandmas there, and they went around the circle and the, and they ask, they ask, um, you know, just to either give an epic fail or something or some <laughs> advice or whatever. But one of the, several people said, you you're not going to spoil the baby by holding the baby. No. And you can't love it too much, and um, and, and you I mean, can't take you, enough pictures of it either. Yeah, that's probably true too. My pediatrician told me that. Oh, is that right? He did. The one that I used to take Kaylee to, he said, every time we went in there, he says, you're taking pictures, right? You're taking pictures, right? Aww. I said, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And her husband in his Thousands retired of years, later, he's a photographer, so. Yeah. <laughs> we have a teenage brat. So. Oh. <laughs> like, Maybe you can spoil them. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, when they get to be that age. <laughs> well, 
what teenagers like. Ooh. Yeah. Did you say what size wing needles you used? Uh, no, I didn't. It's whichever one I had in the box. I only had one. So <laughs> it's, it was probably a, like, what did they come, a 2.0 or a 2.5? The wing? I, I don't know. I'm not sure what they are. They, I mean, that's, I know be, that's what the twin needle does. The twin needle is that number yeah. for the distance between the right. two needles. But, but the wing needle wing is going to be like a 16 or an 18 or okay. 12 or whatever. 16 and 19. What is it? It was 16 and 19. Okay, okay, I probably had a 16. I probably had whatever the smallest. Um, we have some people too asking if they can get another look at the bonnet. In oh the sure. Head. Oh yeah. Look at this. Yep. Look at this seahorses. Okay. Okay. Here's the. So bonnet. we're gonna go to overhead in a minute. I'll spread it out for you. I okay. think that's magic, and it's like, uh -huh. oh, look at this. And then. Uh, This is it. So you start she, out with a, a larger, yep, a little bit go. larger mm -hmm. piece, and then she gives you the sizes to cut it down to like a mm -hmm. seven, seven by fourteen, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And w once you get the edges, then you just fold these. And this, I like this. You put, you sew a piece of ribbon to it, and then fold it up so oh, that it's all nice and that. finished. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I like the way she did that. So you sew the ribbon like right sides together and then mm -hmm. flip it and then over. Flip so it over, oh, sew that it down. looks good. That looks good. It's just good. soft. It's smooth next yeah, to the baby's that's head. Nice. You know. That's like with this. There's oh, nothing to that. bother it. Well, know? that's what I notice here where uh -huh. Regina has the, the raw edges flipped back and it's underneath. And it also has a piece of blue insertion. ribbon under there. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. It has a piece of uh, 3 8 inch wide. Well, that, that hides your seam and it just yeah, it gives does. that pretty little sheen. Mm -hmm. This is probably number 139 polyester ribbon. Yeah, it's really pretty. Goes that's, nice. That's sweet. And I like the little um, embroidered flower mm -hmm. right, right where it's attached. Little bullion right where it goes so on. This, this ribbon will not slide out of the casing because right in the center here, it, it's um, tacked down. And I suggest that for any bonnet you make because mm -hmm. that way whenever you, you know, if they happen to pull on it or something you're not sitting there with something flapping on their head and, and the ribbons in their hand yeah you that's know? right so and then be, and then of course you do your you do your tucks before you before you, you make do your any tucks before stuff. you do anything yeah. else and yeah. then you start with the the ribbon you measure you measure back for your tucks and then you start putting the ribbon on the front of the lace man that's cute and it's just real simple but just so pretty Way to go, Jeannie And all the directions are in the, in the Classic Sewing Magazine. So you don't sweet, have to, you know, if you already have it. sweet head back here. See the back of the baby's head is so always mm -hmm. so precious. Aww. So just look up your Classic Sewing Magazine for the summer of 23 and your pattern's in there. I love that. I like this ecru lace with it too. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got the bows down here and the and the flowers. This shows you everybody that you don't have to have matching. You don't. Mm -hmm. You don't. Um, a lot of people feel like they have to have everything from a matching set. Nope. And this, but it shows those flowers up really pretty. It does show the flowers, and then right mm -hmm. here, you I'll show you. You can see the bows. I'll get a little closer. You can see there's a bow design on the on the edging. It's that's that sweet. You know they're not making that bow design anymore. Mm. I hate to say. And, and it doesn't take we much. Might, of we might ribbon, still have some like a half a yard for right. either piece. And it doesn't take much lace. So mm -mm. this is like a I mean really well, that's what I meant was the lace. Yeah, you, yeah. you don't need much, so And honestly you don't you even can need get it. away with like 16 inches. Yeah. So save all your little scraps, that's right? right? That, and that's, that's probably perfect. what this was. Is I just go in a bag that I put things in and pull them out and I sew them together. That's that's pretty, Regina. And you sew the two pieces together before you sew it to the bonnet. Oh. So you zigzag, so you zigzag them. that mm -hmm. together first. And but then, then you this... lay it on there and sew it and flip it up. Oh, you sew so you sew this to your raw edge and then flip that back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Same the same it's, as you did right uh -huh. here. Yeah. That's nifty. It is. That's nifty. Really I love cute. that. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, anything else? <clears throat> Any other questions? No. Denise just says uh, pink lemon, lemon cry emoji. 
no, no peekaboo. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Or, oh. uh, somebody suggested uh, Kathy McMakin had a very similar bonnet design, all mm -hmm. done on the serger. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kathy teaches that in their, her beginning heirloom class, I think, because you have to take that before you... I had to take that class before I took the uh, christening gown class, so, yeah. But these are these are really cool techniques. Hers isn't quite like this because, she, I mean, it's similar, but she just, I think, sews her lace right onto the edge of the bonnet, mm -hmm. but and she doesn't do the flipping back and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn some real cool techniques, try this bonnet. And it, it's a small project, it so is, you, yeah. can, you can knock it out and nothing flat. Yeah. Do you treat the ribbon ends from frame? No, oh yes, she does. Of course. But of course, I would. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of fray check. A little bit. Mm. Or a spit. <laughs> I, I, I might spit on my baby's head uh, and make the hair uh, stay uh, down. <laughs> they're loving your blouse today. They want to know if it's mops. <clears throat> yes, I did it myself. <laughs> <laughs> now her nose is growing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Found it for fourteen dollars at Beals. <laughs> My Wanda, favorite place to go. Yes, mine too. Where, uh, Wanda's asking where to find the slip dress pattern. A bit of stitch. A bit of stitch. Mm -hmm. Abby Hawkins designs. Is there a slip dress? It's called a slip dress. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That that wasn't in the magazine, though, was it? No. No, it was the scalloped edge one. It was, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. A bit of stitch, you will find all kinds of wonderful things there. Yeah, she has all kinds really of neat. cool pro You know, and when you first look at the things... And no offense to Evie or anything, but a lot of hers are are not done into clothes, you know. Right. But if right. you just use your imagination and use them, you know, because you can put them in clothes. And the girl likes some placemats now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it on placemats. You can do it on hand towels. But I made lots purses, of linen hand like towels. Like hand purses or bags. Yes. Really cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and there was a new pattern that was just released today or yesterday by... Uh, Vintage little lady, I think, and it's um, a, a little handbag. Oh, cute! It's the cutest thing. I got the pattern all ready to make it because I saw it this morning, and somebody, a gal, had made it in for a little boy, and the fabric she put it's a circle, and then it draws up with a drawstring, but it has wooden ha or handles, you know, bought, bought handles to it. That'd be fun. It is so cute because when she did it for him, she. And I asked her because I thought she'd bought a piece of fabric mm -hmm, that looked like mm -hmm. that. It's like a car track, you know, like little car oh, yeah, tracks. But yeah. she actually had made it. She, And it was very clever because she used uh, like a bias, a piece of bias, mm -hmm. and sewed it down the middle mm -hmm. for the road, mm -hmm. you know, and put a strip yeah. of black and put those for the white lines on the road. Neat. So cute. And then he carries his little cars in it. Oh. And I thought, my I grandson has got to have one of those. Yeah. And he asked me, where's mine? Where's mine? When I took the girls' dresses. So I'm making him one of those bags. And I'm, I don't make them one, too. But I just think his will be so cute. It's the Kate handbag, and it's on sale. Yes, oh. it is, for like $6. And it's $6 yeah. vintage little lady, right? Vintage little lady. Yeah. Okay. And, it, and it's so cute. And so, yeah, go look that one up because... You can do lots of fun stuff with it. Yeah, that's You could neat. use Evie's designs on the outside of the mm -hmm, bag because mm -hmm. one, I think she did, a, or maybe it was somebody else's that did one and had an embroidery design on the outside of it. It was really pretty. So, so many things in the well, works. Next, next week, Regina, mm -hmm. you're going to be back and in introducing somebody, right? I am. I am yeah. so excited. So can you tell them a little bit about Dana? Yes, Dana is I'm a lady from Augusta who joined our smocking uh, chapter. And she is very talented. She had nobody to sew for, so she sews for herself. And, and she, she she's, she's really She's a nurse creative. by occupation, mm -hmm. a retired nurse. Mm -hmm. I think and her husband's an anesthesiologist. And she's very quiet. But she sews beautiful, and she just jumps right in there. Let me tell you, <laughs> for somebody who's just beginning to sew and making her own clothes, she loves vintage patterns. Mm -hmm. She loves vintage <clears throat> fabrics. And she'll redo things, too. And she redoes yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, when you look, it's like, wow. You know, she wears the cutest jackets, she, and she, she makes those. Too. And and so I'm so excited for her to bring it and show you what she does because I think a lot of people out here want to sew for themselves, mm -hmm, but they really mm -hmm, don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. Well, like her, you can't be afraid. And I'll tell you what I saw this past week at our last week 
at our smocking, we had our smocking uh, meeting on the first Friday, and she was there, and we had a new lady that came, and she said she didn't have anybody to sew for, I don't think, but she wanted to make her own clothes. And I was like, well, who else to talk to but Dana? So she started talking to Dana, and when I was leaving, they were on a back table cutting out a pattern. She had a blouse <laughs> that she had brought, because she said, I really like somebody to help me learn mm -hmm, how to do this. Mm -hmm. Dana was cutting out the pattern for her of that oh. blouse. I mean, it was so cool, and I bet she'll neat. bring that. And, you know, she might have that blouse, too, when she comes in. But she, I told her, I said... She says, what do I talk about? I said, just bring all your patterns, yeah, bring all right. the clothes that you've made. So be ready to ask questions, too. Yeah. Because, because she, she she's a sharp lady. She is. And, yeah. and she's done some really cute things. Mm -hmm. And some she, things you won't even believe like, that she did. It. We're like, bit, 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 bit. but, but uh, she was really happy you were going to be here yeah. because she's going to be more relaxed. She came to the help me take down the uh, exhibit from the library of our smocking things. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you're going to be there, right? You're going to be there? And I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. And uh, so then she was saying, well, what do I bring and stuff? And I told her, and I'll tell you this next week when she's here because she has a really special talent. And so I'll let her tell it next week. Okay. She, uh, when I asked, I told her my smocking chapter, I said, when she came, I said, okay, everybody, you have to ask Dana what she does. And when she told them, they're like, and she goes, but how did you know about it? <laughs> I said, I do my research. <laughs> So anyway, we'll have her tell them. Maybe that can be our question. What do you think Dana? What do you think Dana's Dana special does? talent is? Yeah. Although we could get all kinds of um. Oh well, you can't even imagine what. what oh, this you're is, kidding. So, yeah. <laughs> is she a pole dancer? No. <laughs> I was gonna say, cause she burp baby sees. <laughs> she might could do that. I don't know. But that's not what I it's saw. It's probably gonna be way more wholesome than we went to. I know. Okay, back up out of that hole. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit like this. Get on the bank. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. You'll you'll get a kick out of what it is. So before before we have our drawing, I want to show you these really really quickly because um, we've been talking about Gail Doan's, um a trio of refined bishops, and we've been making kits. Michelle has been working herself crazy, making wonderful, gorgeous kits. Now this oh. this is a Swiss voile and it it's it's beautiful. It's isn't it? gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh. And so um, Gail made this. This this is actually Gail's picture. I mean we took a picture of it when it was here. And um, we didn't have and we can't get this exact lace with the bows on it. So we'll go to the overhead and show you. But we have a great substitute for that. So here is here's the original with the the lace has bows but it's it's a wider lace with a i call it the like the big hole lace you know it's <laughs> like has it's not so meshy right but look at this gorgeous this is the gorgeous lace that i'll uh -huh. show you let me show you here first and we'll have links to this but these are these are the laces the ones with the black a little mark that here's the insertion and the edging and then the narrow edging for the sleeve but they're they're, they're beautiful, beautiful and they they beautiful. really have that same they have that mm -hmm. same look so this is called the blue swiss boil bishop and that is so if you got gail's class if you if you bought her yeah. class you really want to get this kit because it is beautiful has everything in here to make this beautiful bishop and even the the type of ribbon that she used and slip and the slip the bishop and the slip that's right that's right so then we have um a really cute this is seersucker in pastel colors like easter colors mm -hmm. and this is a, a kit called melanie and um it's a pinafore what is that pattern um, oh you probably have it here it is right here this is uh the bonnie blue designs tiffany noel and it's like a, a the pinafore with a ruffle. It's very very sweet. So this is Melanie in pastel mm -hmm. plaid, like window pane plaid. And ladies, when I made this one, I used Debbie Hawkins one of her designs. It had little butterflies, and I put one on each one of those. Oh, so you can go do that too. Cute. Yeah, really oh. pretty. Then this one is 
Briley. And this is Bonnie Blue Design Briley. And so this is a, a dress, isn't it? And also a seersucker, but this one is in pastel stripes. So pretty and so summery. Yeah, oh. it'd be great for summer. Great for summer. I love the colors in this one. And then, I do too. And then this, this one is a um, Primrose Lane design. And she had this, the, I think she has a jacket and dress that she had. This whole outfit was in um, a Classic Sewing Magazine, something, something, something. Uh, Which, so here it is, and this is in the tricolor, in the Easter colors, the pastels, blue, pink, yellow. And it's everything for the jacket. Spring 2020. Spring 2020. The jacket, 20, yeah, jacket and the dress. Very cute with a pleat down the front and, and um, then gathered on either side. And then we were able to get the Valdini um, over dyed variegated thread that she did the exact um, embroidery, oh, that's hand neat. embroidery. Yeah. We, we ordered that. Um, it's still got time to make it. Yeah, there's still time. It's really cute. Pretty. Let me see if I can find you a spool of Valdini. Hmm. Let's see this Valdini. The thread. Valdini is pretty. Oh, that's something I want to talk about too. Yeah. Oh, that is see? pretty. Yeah. These pretty colors. To do your yeah. hand embroidery that I'm practicing, em do I gotta, hand embroidery. gotta do that. That's what I was going to tell you. Yeah. Somebody oh, yeah, asked yeah, yeah, me yeah, yesterday yeah. about uh, thread. What it, she wanted to do machine embroidery and she didn't uh, want to use the sheen, the, the uh, salty, shiny, shiny, shiny salty. thread. Mm -hmm. She wanted a, a flat thread. Well, this is what I use, and I use this on all of these baby things. This is the DMC 50 weight cotton thread, and I use this. These are the colors I picked out today because I've got like nine more baby things to make, you know. So these, these are what I'm going to do work with, but I'm telling you, these colors, you will love them. They're so pretty. Just like this little shirt here. This one yeah, has the, That's the flat thread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's just, it's not shiny and it comes out really pretty. So A lot of people do machine embroidery with the DMC. Mm -hmm. This is a 50 weight thread, all cotton. Yeah. And it's pretty for machine embroidery. So I just wanted you to look at the Easter egg colors. Yeah, they're yeah. nice. They're just, they're beautiful they're nice. colors. That's so, cute. That was the other thing I wanted to talk about was the thread that I used. I love that. I want that Dana's last name. Dana Gay. Dana Gay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait to see what she's going to bring next week. Oh, I know. Because she was wearing one of her jackets the other day, and it was so pretty. Man. It's so cute. Well, it's like, I'll just save all of her descriptions and let her tell you what yeah. she made it out of and how she made it. So well, it was <laughs> Our Jane Seeley, which we've all seen and admired her clothes. Jane told me about um, Dana and Regina. And I'm like, okay, these two ladies, I love what they do. And if they're impressed with Dana, it's like, i got to meet this lady. <laughs> I want to meet her. And we thought she should be shown because she is yeah, really definitely. good at what she's doing. Yeah. And, and, and it's something that we don't do. You know, I mean, we, I don't sew adult clothes. Right. And so we need more of that. But and, a lot of people are sewing they for are. themselves and, and now. A lot of people, just like the lady yeah. that came to our chapter, you know, mm -hmm. and wanted to make a blouse for herself. And so, yeah, there are a lot. And I think it needs to be shown. So, great. Maybe she'll get so it So it'll be there. fun next week. It'll yeah. be fun. I'm glad you're going to be here. So we we had a little um, we had a little pile of things we pulled together, <laughs> and, and some of it's from estate sales. I mean, I've never have seen you've never seen these. No, I've, I've never these, seen them. Mm -mm. But it's interesting because even though this was from the '90s, it says teacher Jeannie Baumeister shows you how to create expensive looking outfits for yourself or little ones by adding simple touches. So that was way 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 back when. And then we have. These came from an estate sale. Wow. <laughs> a whole bunch of yeah. um, hoops. And we talked about a galoon lace, which is galoon means it's uh, scalloped on both edges. So there's a piece of that. And then these have been kicking around on my desk. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're small double curve lace trimming scissors. Couldn't you use something mm -hmm. like that to trim around mm -hmm. the scallops? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even know we were going to talk about that. If Sally had 
done her embroidery, she would know about this. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So these are four inch tables. This one. And she was talking about this. I've used this before down the front of a dress. And if you just sew down this, the edge here, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. straight seam it down. Like on the Lillian dresses, you can put this down yeah, the front. That's right. It's and pretty that it way. trims up or on just a little piece on the bodice. It's really pretty. Well, did you take this and gather up the middle so that it was, Is it was you, it a galloon that you did that it with? It wasn't, and then, but you could. And then, and it, was, that then it was gathered yeah. and you and could you put it, it on down something. The front. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty. Yep. And then there was this piece, and you, you've done things with this one before, too. This I is thought the you Swiss. had that in there because show that other pattern, that Briley, the Briley pattern you have for the kid over here. Okay. Because I was just sitting there thinking about that. We're like, which pattern did Regina use? Yep, that's it. All right. I used this pattern with a little skirt. Oh, that's to make right. This that's with right. This. And you can do it too. So, so this is Swiss. Whoever and it's wins been this, you're going to need this pattern. Because uh, six yards. Mm -hmm. Six yards of this. I'm just like, gaga. Yeah. yeah. Because so, Regina. Who's gonna um, Who's gonna win? So who's gonna be our lucky winner out of all this, right? Yeah. I'll go somewhere and pull out something. Who is a big one? I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fred. Fred, you're gonna love this dress you're gonna make. <laughs> you know what? He said, "Looky there, Sally, sprinkling of that generosity dust all over that fine giveaway. You and the entire farmhouse crew are super special folks." I don't know anything about flounce and galoon. I accuse uh, Denise wife. of being all flouncy when she struts through the house in new clothes. Denise ordered one of those irons on a stick, and I'm sure she'll <laughs> let me use it outside. Uh. Now, Fred, you're going to have to make, she's going to have to make that blouse now. now That's hilarious. There, there have been times, I'm waiting to hear if he's, if he's saying anything. There, there have been times, and he said, "Boo, boo, peekaboo." Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, and join us next week when That's Dana is funny. here. <laughs> yeah. And um, we will have a good time. There'll be three of us, and probably I will introduce and let Regina. I'll be shouting from the background. Oh yeah. Hey, what about this? <laughs> what about that? That's right. Yeah. But we'll have a good time with Dana, and uh, thanks for joining us today. Have a good weekend. Come sew with me. Oh, yes, come sew with Regina. <laughs> oh, oh, my tell, them, 